50 days they've taken this American Ksenia Karolina in Russia, in Russia for giving 51 bucks to a Ukrainian charity. She was charged with treason, 20 years in prison. You haven't heard of a lot of American politicians talking about it. You know why? Because she doesn't matter enough. She does to us. That's why we keep having her family on. Chris Van Heerden, her boyfriend, who, by the way, was a hell of a fighter, and now is fighting for his love. And he is uh, keeping up his hope, but it ain't easy. Brother, it's good to see you. Um, last time we spoke, you said there was an attorney in the mix now, but it's not easy to get her uh, time with counsel. What is the latest, uh, as you understand it? Chris, my, my friend, always a pleasure to be on here with you. Thank you for giving me this platform. Yeah, so, so we've secured a, a lawyer. That's, that's great news. The last time we spoke, we, we didn't have a lawyer signed, but we've, we've done that. So that is great news. So we have a lawyer to uh, April 5th. I believe it's April 5th or April 6th. Uh, Ksenia's detention is supposed to be over April 5th or April 6th, which I have reason to believe they're just going to extend it. But this lawyer now will come in and try again for house arrest, as I believe. So he's going to try to get her out or get her out like as a bail proposition? What's the strategy? Yeah, uh, yeah. As, as far as I understand um, and from, from previous cases like this, uh, April 5th or April 6th, they will just extend this. But this is where the strategy will be to try and see if we can get house arrest again um, to at least get out. Uh, what is the State Department telling you? What is the level of urgency from any politicians that you've been able to attach in the Americas? Uh, to, to be honest, the last couple of days, the last week or so, it's kind of been, been quiet. Um, but I am hopeful. I am hopeful that uh, the State Department will get Ksenia wrongfully detained, declared, because that's what we need to get to, to done. Um, but I still have question marks. You know, I wake up, Chris, and... Uh, like you said, my life is still on hold, and I don't sleep at night. I don't rest. I'm, I'm bothered the whole day. I have question marks, and I have questions. I, I don't know really what's happening. I don't understand what's taken so long to declare her wrongfully detained. Did they tell you, like, what's missing or what they need to develop? No, no. Um, as, as far as I understand, ksenia has got to sign... Um, some paperwork, but in order to get those papers signed, we need to get an American close to Ksenia, which Russia is not allowing. Um, so they don't tell me much, but um, and I and I have no no idea why it's 50 days coming up and we still haven't declared her wrongfully detained. But I am hopeful. You got a letter recently, so she's able to get at least some correspondence yeah. out. What did you pick up in the letter? What What do you want people to know? <sighs> She's losing hope. You know, reading this letter is, is, is probably the... I received it on Monday. Um, it's, it's very negative. She's losing hope. She's giving up. And, and how can I not blame her? You know, she's trying to stay strong. No, no one has yet to see her, so she, she's to believed to be lost. She, um, she's not sleeping. She's sleeping terribly. She... Uh, She's losing hope, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm here again, Chris, like I told you. I'm not a begging man. I'm a fighter, but I'm fighting here for, for someone I care about. I, I think I do what any man that truly cares about a woman will do, and that's fight. You know, I had plans with this woman, and right now, my, myself, and I'm, I'm with question marks. I, I don't know. I'm confused. I'm lost, and this woman is losing hope, and... That's what I picked up in her letters. It's heartbreaking. If you have to read this yourself, it's heartbreaking. Look, all you can do is try. And you got to try from over here, because if you go to Russia, you're crazy. They'll wind up scooping you up, too, and then you can't help anybody. Um, so you have this platform whenever you want it. If there are lawmakers you want us to call, if there are any bureaucrats you want us to call, any, any way that we can help, I'm going to call away. You just let me know, uh, and we'll do whatever we can, and I promise you we'll stay on it. It's just such bull, it's such BS that they just get to take people, you know, and I had a list here, you know, it's not just, look, Ksenia is beautiful, okay, and there's no question that her, her beauty grabs people's attention, grabs your eye, obviously, uh, and you've fallen deeply in love and you want to have a life with her, but they got, um, 
the, you know, Gershkovitz, the Wall Street Journal guy, they got Paul Whelan, uh, they've got uh, uh, Kurmasheva, uh, the Russian American journalist. And I don't know why when people hear Russian American, they think it means like you're less American. A lot of people have dual citizenship, by the way. And David Barnes. I mean, you know, they just take our people because they can. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.